All right, for all you guys running on the uh, 4.40 custom firmwares, uh, I meant to put this out last week, but I never got the chance. But I have the link for download. It's the Rogero CEX Base 4.40 version 1.03. This has Stealth Man support, so if you have a copy of Stealth Man, it will run it. Uh, it has to be Stealth Man 4.40.00. Uh, so the same build as that multi-man, uh, but basically um, just a few minor bug fixes and things like that, and uh, the toolbox has been moved to the uh, app PS3 game, so you don't have to manually install it with this custom firmware. It's already installed. You just hover over the uh, app PS3 game section and the game section on your XMB and run it. Now to install this, what you're going to need is at least a flash drive of about one gigabyte and I'm just gonna plug one in real quick to show you the proper setup on how to install this custom firmware so I'm plugging in my uh, flash drive right now <clears throat> and I'm gonna open up the files like so and uh, basically um, what you're going to need to do is make a new folder. This is just a college USB stick that I got and my video archiving and shit like that. But uh, you're going to make a folder called PS3. Oh, PS3 and open that up. So open that folder and then make a new folder and call that update. All capital letters. Like so. Update. And open that up. And now you're going to want to drag and drop the Rogario, uh, the Rogero CEX 4.40 uh, version 1.03 over into this memory stick. So allow that to copy over. So let that copy over, and then once this copy is over, you're going to have to rename the PUP on the uh, USB stick, which I will show in a moment. Seeing that this is only going to take like 25 more seconds, I think we could just stand by and wait. If it was going to take 5 hours, then that's when I start to feel generous. Now, for those of you running on DEX custom firmwares or uh, Rex custom firmwares, or whatever you want to call them, I will be looking for them around the web and I will be making a video on those custom firmwares. Now, you can't update from a CEX to a DEX, you'll brick your console, don't do that. So you'll have to install from other OS before you can do any of that. Uh, but I will have a video with all the links and stuff for the Rex custom firmwares or the DEX custom firmwares. So, uh, anyways, moving on. And now you're going to want to call this, you want to rename the PUP, all capital letters, P S three and then U P T A T up that now update up that and just leave it like that and then uh, just plug it into your PS3 go to your uh, system update if you're running 441 you can use this to downgrade you can't do it with DEX custom firmwares but you can do it with CEX custom firmwares uh, you so CEX you can basically go from 4.1 to fucking 3.55 to 4.40 or whatever doesn't matter you can downgrade and upgrade freely uh, so but uh, then you just put the uh, take the USB out and plug it into your PS3 boot it up go to uh, the uh, update or system update and uh, go via media storage and install it like that so yeah so thanks for watching hope this helps you um, sorry I can't show you the uh, full installation but that's because I'm running the uh, 441 Rogario version 1 uh, right here which I have a video on that I put up a couple days ago I think uh, but yeah so the download link for this will be below for you guys also uh, rate comment and subscribe uh, feel free to donate to my channel or go check out my website and donate to that there, software-reborn.com. All the information is below, and uh, talk to you guys later.